How is everybody doing today? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, so, um, hi everybody. Um, I decided to go live to um, answer some questions about this Nike Marathon project that I just started. Um, yeah, I know it's been crazy cool and a super awesome day. So um, I just wanted to get a chance to... Hi, Brandon! Oh, sorry, my friend Brandon, who's in England, is on. I'm very excited. So, uh, more important question, how are you? I'm doing really good. I'm really, really happy today. Um, I had a great day, full of endorphins. <laughs> I'm smiling. Um, I just had a little bit of a break. Um, we've had quite a day here. Um, but uh, I guess I'll get into it and kind of explain what this whole project is. Um, so I, I, I miss you too, Brandon. Um, I put it up on my, on my blog, um, which I just started. And part of the reason I decided to start it was because I wanted to be able to um, talk about this journey and talk about what is going to be going on with this whole marathon endeavor. Um, so basically Nike and Nike Women and Nike Los Angeles Nike Running um, contacted me and asked if I wanted to be a part of a group of 35 women that are all going to run their first marathon together. Um, we're running the Chicago Marathon. That's in October. And this weekend is kind of our big kickoff weekend. So we can all get to know each other and meet each other and really bond as a team. Um, so that way we can train together a little bit if we're in the same place. A lot of us live all over the world. Most of us, I think, live here in L.A., um, but mainly they just wanted us to bond as like a group of badass ladies who are running their first marathon together. And I think the main reason that I wanted to start my, um, blog so I could write about it was because I think a lot of people can run a marathon. I think that there's so many people in, on all ages that run a marathon and whether or not they run it, they, they could sometimes walk it and they do it to finish it. And I really, really want to run this marathon and I my goal is this is my first marathon but my goal is to try and do it in under four hours which I do think is possible um I, I don't I actually don't know if it's possible it, it is it is possible humanly I just don't know if it's possible for me um but I would like it to be possible for me and so that is my goal um and I'm scared I'm really really freaked out honestly um I as people who follow me may know i run and I love running and for people in my life my friends family all of them know that I love to run and I genuinely enjoy it but I have never run 26 miles straight I've never even run I think more than 13 miles in one straight go um and that's that's like double that's more than double the amount so um I <laughs> coach Arcos is here he's one of my coaches with uh with the lab um, and he's saying, don't doubt yourself. I'm not doubting myself. I know that I can do this. I definitely can do this. My head is strong and I know that I will be able to do this, but it is a really daunting thing when you look at it at, as like 26.2 miles and especially the goal that I set for myself, but I know that I can do it. I just have to train up to that point. Um, today was our first day of training. And so we got to do, um, like form analysis, with our coach Blue, our coach Stowe, and our coach Wilcox. And we got to kind of go over what we're going to be doing. Oh, yes! Okay, Ryan Lauderdale, he says, my favorite, great to see you today. We did this video with Obsessy. This is like an off note. Go go look it up. It, we did an inspirational running video with Obsessy, which is very funny, and I was so happy to see him today because I haven't seen him since we did that video. Um, but, yeah, so anyway... Um, where, where was I? Uh, anyone messaged me, where was I in my, my rant, my tangent of running? Oh, yeah, we did form analysis today. Um, and then, sorry, Jennings is wanting to say hello. He's right. This is hilarious. He's here with me. Uh, and uh, he's helping me um, relax after, after quite a day that we've had. Um, we did form analysis. We did strength analysis. Um, Brian... Uh, Coach Lauderdale, Ryan Lauderdale, he, uh, like, tested our, our balance and our stability to see, like, how our, 
you know, if we're balanced on both sides, which I'm not. Um, it was really funny. It kind of reminded me of PE when I was in school. Um, I was like, when are we running the mile? Um, but we didn't, we didn't do any, like, drastic running today. I think that's all going to be safe for tomorrow and the day after. And I think my goal for this training process is I think I get really excited about stuff. Um, I'm a very positive person, and I get really, really, like, jazzed up about stuff. Um, and so I kind of get ahead of myself, and then I end up either running too far or running too hard, and I don't take the steps that I need to do to get to where I need to be. And I think that's my big goal for this entire journey um, that I'm going on with all of these women is that when my training, like, schedule says where, like, training schedule says run three miles, I'm not going to run four or five, I'm going to run three miles, and I'm going to make sure that I, I focus on the journey more so than just the destination. Um, and of course, that's a huge thing. Like finishing the race is what what I want to do. I like the the first goal on top before before finishing it in under four hours. The first goal is to finish it, is to run twenty six miles, twenty six point two miles, and then afterwards, it's to try and do it in a set amount of time. And um, for those people that know me, I don't really like to time my runs. I I hardly ever wear my watch. I actually had to reset my watch today because it wasn't working. Um, because I don't like to, to track those things because I'm not competitive and I, you know, but for this specific thing, I want to be able to see how I progress and I want to get in really great shape and I want to feel good about myself in, when it comes to this race and I want to step out onto the starting line um, in Chicago on October 6th and feel like not only am I ready to go, but all the women around me are ready to go and we're doing this together. And we're going to accomplish something really incredible that none of us have ever done before. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of, I was kind of feeling like sharing. So I decided to come on here and share. So if anybody has any questions, I'm going to stay on for like a few more minutes. And then I'm going to go meet all the ladies at the pool. Anyone know the record time? I actually don't know the record time for the marathon, but I know Nike did breaking two, which was kind of what spawned this whole thing. Was I went to breaking two last year and I saw... Um, it was, it was, uh, Zersene, Elliot, and, uh, Lasisa all trying to break the two hour marathon barrier, which has never been done before. And they had all these science, like scientists that built the shoes, the, the, like the, um, the 4% shoes. And they had the proper like nutrition gels that were made just for them. And they really kind of, they had like a team of pacers that ran in front of them to block the wind so they could try and beat the beat the marathon time and even though he, he finished in two hours and 25 seconds which is crazy to me because that means that he only ran like collectively on average which is not the case because he ran the the correct time but slowed down I think towards the end of the race he only ran 25 seconds like one second longer a mile basically which is insane and that's I think it's four minutes and 31 seconds a mile to consistently do that 26.2 times that's crazy um and it was so inspiring and we finished watching that ha the like you know basically history was was made on that track i don't think it counts yeah somebody's just said record marathon is two hours two minutes 57 seconds i don't think it counts as a as a record because of all the stuff that they put in the thought that nike put into it you know they made sure that the course was the right kind of course they made sure that it was the right weather temperature they made sure that you know they really controlled a lot of conditions that you couldn't typically do with a regular marathon that you step up you step out onto the start line and you're like basically whatever whatever the race is that's what it is so you know when when like boston this year i mean who could have predicted that boston was going to be snowy it, like not well, it wasn't snowy but like rainy and hurricaney and like super duper cold you know um you can't. You just got to prepare for the race and, like, make sure that your head is strong and get out there and go. Um, and when I was there for breaking, too, I did have that thought. I was like, maybe I could run a marathon. Maybe I could do this. Um, and I signed up for a half marathon, and then I got ahead of myself, and I ran too far too early. I ended up injuring myself, and I was told by my doctor that I couldn't run it. And I was so, so heartbroken and really, really upset. Um, and... I didn't really know what to do. Um, so I started to take ballet class and really strengthen my feet because that was a lot of the problem was that I didn't have, my feet weren't strong enough. And I had to really focus on my form and really think about, which I, you're constantly perfecting because I realized today that my form 
is better, but it still could be better than, than what it is now. So we've got to keep always, always room for improvement, which is very exciting. Um, and so I got better and I did Nautica Malibu triathlon with my friends, George and Tony. And I kind of, I just did the running portion of it. And I thought to myself, okay, maybe I'm just not cut out to run by myself. Maybe I'm more of somebody, I'm, I'm more of a person that wants to run in a group and wants to have a team because that's what I had with Hood to Coast and that's what I had when I did the triathlon. And even this past year, I didn't, I didn't run the whole of Speed Project. I was part of a host team, but it was really inspiring to be around all those people and I'm going to do Speed Project this year and I'm going to have my own team and I'm very excited to have a team of people. And so being able to be a part of this team of women and we're all going to run this marathon together. And even though we're not going to be running it in this, like, we're not going to be running next to each other the whole time. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe, you know, I guess we'll see what our paces are. Maybe somebody in the group has the same pace as me. And maybe, you know, some of the other girls have the same pace as, uh, as some of the others. So we can all run together certain parts of the race. But really, you know, you're, you're running a marathon by yourself. And I think I wrote myself off as somebody that couldn't do that. Um, and then when this whole thing came up, it really inspired me that it's like, okay, I'm not alone. And I think it's so easy to think that you are alone in running a marathon, but you're surrounded by people. And I think that that's the most beautiful thing about running. And that's what I love about running personally is because honestly, I was never really that good at sports when I was in school. Um, but um, I always was really excited to get out there and be with my team even if I wasn't that good at sports. And I think that something I love about running is that it is such a big community and you can do it anywhere. And everywhere I go when I travel for work, I can go run and I love it. And I'm really just grateful that I get to be a part of this and I get to be here with these lovely ladies. And yeah, I just can't wait to kind of see what happens and I'll try and do more lives so we can talk some more and kind of get you know, I can share with you all what this whole thing is. Um, I'm sure not all of my lives or all of my posts or all of my blogs or whatever it is are going to be as positive. I'm sure they're going to be days where I'm going to feel like crap. Um, and that will be interesting. Um, but right now I feel really good and I'm very excited and, um, I'm going to go to the pool and hang out with my friends, my new friends. I just made 34 new friends. That's so cool. Uh, and for those who like know me personally, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, I, 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 yeah. Not that I, I'm not antisocial. I'm very social. I just don't really like. I, I, I do get out a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I make lots of. I make lots of friends. But 34 in one day, like yesterday, was pretty cool. <laughs> Walked into that room, I was like, I got all these friends. Um, so yeah, somebody just said they don't look at you as a friend. Whoa. Well, you know, it's okay. I look at them as friends, and that's all that matters. Just where my head's at, you know? So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you so, so much. Um, my friend Luca Bella, who signed on, I'm just going to tell her, um, drive your car. Okay, I know you're listening to this, but don't watch me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. And um, anyway, I am so grateful for all of you guys. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. And um, we're just going to do it. But a bump. <laughs> All right. Bye.